strongly on the opening tip. And it's controlled by the Bulls. Pippen going right at Peyton. Matchup that Hannah referred to. Now they double up on Jordan. Harper is open for three. Yes. By Gary Peyton being played by Ron Harper. Sean Kemp with the room. That was Monday Memorial Day. And Kemp fires from deep. So Sean Kemp. For Seattle, it is their first trip to the NBA Finals since they won the championship back in 1979. Here's Pippen for Harper. He beat Pippen and threw the foul. As in nobody really stopping Trent from putting any pressure and a nice move by Hawkins without the ball. And Michael Jordan running the middle of the floor that time. And that's who Scottie Pippen was looking to. Air ball hook shot. And the Bulls only one for their first six. Johnson. Orlando never able to catch up the rest of the series. shots being played by Ron Hopper, who has uh, been just superb defensively throughout the playoffs. Now Kemp putting the move on him. Big by post-entry passes are too slow. Got to pass sharper than that. Longley, very active here at the start. Nine lead. Well, Luke Longley has been very active from both ends of the floor. Looked like he was clearly beaten by Sean Kemp, but recovering to get his second block and then running the floor beautifully to finish off on the fast break. Yes, several of Michael's teammates talk about the added pressure as Jordan comes up with the block. Lack of execution by the Seattle Supersonics. If they have one week, he thinks that the Sam Perkins Tony Kukoc matchup is going to determine this series. Which one could lead their bench to the greatest performance? Try to keep Rodman as far away from the basket as possible. A steal by Pippen. Terrible pass by, by Peyton. You got to move your feet, and step through. That's a bad matchup with Rodman on Perkins for Chicago. Pippen for three. Their last five shots. The Bulls are up 17-10. Harper's really slowing down Gary Payton on the advance of the ball. Open shot for Perkins for three. Dennis dropped his head right away. He knew that Perkins had that long look at an easy three for him. Jordan. Yes. It's not getting better with all the expert treatment he's been getting. They're something seriously going on here. He needs a lot more time than just a day or two's rest. Now Jordan going against Peyton. Goes to the fadeaway. Just two fouls for Luke Long. Excuse me. And here's Ashby with his first shot attempt, too. But the Bulls got back. Minute and a half left. First quarter, here's Kent. And Kent looked to go all the way, but struck. Twisting his way. Final seconds of the quarter. On the pull up. Rebound cap. For six from the field, zero points. I'd post up Sean Kemp against Dennis Rodman. Take Dennis inside, and punish him. And here is Kukoc. And Gary uh, Payton dealing with his sister's suicide attempt. For the Bulls, their first turnover on that uh, three-second call. Nice move by Payton. Phil Jackson just looked down the bench at his assistant coaches. He said, that's why I put Randy Brown in there to stop that. Perkins, yes, and it counts. Just three of the last 14, and you can sense the impatience of this capacity crowd here at the United Center. Poor shooting continues by Chicago. Perkins with the good look and hits again.
He's looking to win this thing on his own. They're down by four, Mark. And as you say that, Michael unleashes the three-point lead. The Bulls over the Magic. But, Mark, this is a shot out of the triangle offense, which Phil Jackson tells us he wants Michael to stay in. Bulls foul called on Hopper. Gary Payton in the backcourt. Shrimp, Kemp, Askew on the front line. And it's an offensive foul. Rodman hits the deck to open up this series by Detlef Schenke. He has not scored yet. An obvious offensive foul. Sonics by one as we come up on six minutes to go. First half, they double up on Perkins. Seattle, Seattle has to move more with that ball goes into the post on the perimeter. Three-point attempt by Hawkins. One of the all-time greats and the uh, former general manager and coach of the uh, Seattle Super Sonics, Bill Russell on hand. Hawker. Yes, Longley with 10. And the nice assist to Harper that time. Yes. And of course, McMillan, if he's healthy enough. has been doing it. Nine points for Hawkins. Hawkins. Game is tied at 39. Askew firing the three. Rocking lost it. And then recovered and falls for timeout. In this first half. Rakowski hits on the three. And then heaves it back the other way. And an ocean to a drive. Hawkins. Hawkins not moving around the defender. He's just trying to go through him or over him. That won't work. Joe Crawford says, stay right here, and Dennis Rodman could be losing it. So, Dennis Rodman, who has had his ups and downs with the elbow to the upper midsection. Very dangerous play, uncalled for. And now Judd Bushler replaces Dennis Rodman. The conversation continues. And a technical has been called. Point lead. And George is being guarded by Wingate. George is Well, the Bulls led by as many as nine. They're up by three. And he'll go to the line. They have yet to be called for one in the first half. Final seconds of the half. Down to five seconds. Kuko backs the three-point territory. And Bennett Salvatore comes in. Quick to get in there and make this double foul call. Michael really creating havoc in there, getting the best of that matchup right there. So they will jump it up. Urban Johnson and Scotty Pippen on the uh, jump. And uh, they will do it again. Things starting to get very chippy right now. Michael Jordan senses that the Seattle Supersonics trying to get their pops in whenever they can. He's been hand fighting and battling with Askew and Wingate on this tip. Just two and two tenth seconds remaining in the first half. And that'll do it. That is laid off for Irvin Johnson. Come across that lane and smash that ball through the hoop. Jordan getting right to him. And Seattle's defense not quick enough to match it. Now the botch up is a long way guarding Kemp and Kemp. Now Johnson switching off on Jordan. Shrimp gets back to him. Shot clock at six. Taking up higher on the floor, not letting him get down so low. Oh, Pippen looking for the steal. Here's Shrimp. Shrimp with the rebound and the bucket. So the follow by Detlef Shrimp. Pippen beating the sun. Yes! And it's the foul committed by Hawkins. Quickly out of the net and fired a perfect football touchdown pass to Scotty Pippen, who actually caught that thing with one hand. Mark, the Sonics will be without their all-time steals leader for the rest of this game and maybe the series. Nate McMillan telling me he's just in too much pain because of the back injury to go for the rest of the day. is going to make a determination tomorrow. The report. That's a major loss, and also with Rakowski already ejected. 10 or 11 foul shots in the game. This is not a team Seattle that's shown a great ability to come from far behind. Nice, nice pass from Kukoc. 
79, a team that uh, featured Gus Williams and Dennis Johnson and Jack Sigma, Fred Downtown, Brown, Paul Silas, team coached by Lenny Wilkins, it seems, in a previous life. Four and a half for them. Third quarter. Gary Payton's given the ball up too quick. And Shrimp hits the three. So that left Shrimp. Play from the perimeter guys. But Sean Kemp, the Sonics, with the one. Shaky offensive lineup for Chicago right now. Pippen, the only creator. And Scotty Pippen knocks down. And Mark, a very tough matchup for Sean Kemp. Now against Tony Kukoc, Devin Shrimp. That ball was last touched by the Sonics. Rejection by Pippen. Bushler was shot with the going to the playoffs. Not shooting well here tonight. Weddington. Two points, Chicago lead. Final seconds of the third. Bushler for three. Burned by the one guy, and here's one guy you have to double team. Two points for the fourth this morning. When you don't double team, Devlin able to, unable to just do anything against Tony Kukoc, finally having his way at the basket. Still well in the hunt. Good coach. And, and, and Sean Kemp cannot guard Tony Kukoc on the perimeter. Perkins for three. Seattle had missed its previous five shots before that uh, jumper by Perkins. Good coach. Tony Kukoc taking over. Two three-pointers in a little while ago. A beautiful move inside. But Tony Kukoc is feeling it. His jumper has been absent throughout the whole playoff. Three for 36 coming into this one. And maybe this nine-day layoff. Here is Kemp. Got a long way to go. This is only game number one. The steal. You'll never let him forget that. Oh, that's one that will be uh, shown time and time again. Nice move, Gary Payton, remaining in the fourth. Oh, picked off by Kemp, and here's Payton. From the best player on the planet, Michael Jordan, and there's that post move by Gary Payton, and then Luke Longley. Just throwing a terrible pass as Gary Payton will finish off this play from Sean Kemp. Four of his 22 points coming in this second half. Open look for Harper to it up. Too much athletic ability for Chicago. Coop coach from Jordan. 12 of his 18 here in the fourth. Harper has had an outstanding night with the steal. Michael Jordan in transition, finding his teammates who are all running the floor. Big man just out hustling the Sonics right now. And then Harper has been in the passing lanes all night long. No answer for Seattle. They're forced to the bench again. And the fourth. One of the toughest things for Seattle is that they don't move when they don't have the ball. After a quiet game three against Orlando, comes back with 45 in the closer. Oh, nice move by Luke Longley. 14. That is a playoff career high. Hangs his teammates out to drive. Remaining fourth quarter. Open shot for Hopper, but <laughs> came up with air. And here is Peyton. Very difficult for Seattle to come back against this kind of lead. They don't have really anybody right now who's able to take the game over completely. Now, Sean Kemp has been hot throughout, but they haven't been able to capitalize on that. And Gary Payton has struggled offensively. Oh, Jordan the high arcing performance from Scotty Pippen. Long lane. Oh, looks like Rodney just went down. 
Joe Crawford taking a long look. Here's another look at it. A totally unnecessary play. All of them hooked up there. Frustration by Sean Kemp. Just let that one go. You got to... Guys like Jordan and Rodman, who just have such a killer instinct out there. The practice has become so competitive. And then the genius of Phil Jackson that keeps everybody sharp all the time. Shot clock at 5. 40 seconds. Remaining of the game. Jordan. Yes. In dramatic fashion. Rod Hoffman, 15. Luke Longley, 14. Sean Kemp leading the Sonics with 32. And the Bulls have won game one. 107 to 90. We'll be right back.